Hello everyone. Today we'll talk about const with functions. Say we have a class dog, and dog has an integer of age and a string of name. And the dog has a constructor that initializes the age and the name. And here the thing, dog has a function called set age, and which sets age to the parameter of a. And in the main function, I create a dog d. And I have an integer i equal to nine, and then I call d dot set age i, and print out, and then print out the i. So this will print out nine. So far so good. Suppose the set age function not only use a to set age, it also makes some change to the parameter a. Say it、uh, increment a by one. Remember the set age function takes the parameter by reference. So when I increment a, it also incremented the original variable i. So if we run the program, it prints out ten because i has been changed to ten by the set age function. And say I don't want that to happen. I is a local variable in the main function, and I don't want the set age function to change it. What I can do is add a const over here. Now I'm passing i as a const integer reference to the set age function. So if I compile the program now, it will fail. And if we remove the a plus plus, it will succeed. So this is how a const reference is passed as a parameter to a function. Const reference parameter is widely used in C++ functions, and you should be using it whenever it is appropriate. Now consider if we remove the reference, and the set age function only takes a const integer as a parameter. In this case, the const is not very useful. It still means that a cannot be changed inside the function, but It is not as useful as it is used as a const reference parameter, because the parameter is passed by value. So in the main function, when I call set age i, I'm making a copy of i and pass that to the function set age. And whether the function set age will use that copy as a const or non-const, I don't care. It's a copy anyway. Do whatever you want. So from the caller's point of view, this const is useless. If I overload this function with another function that takes a integer as a parameter, the caller cannot differentiate these two functions. So if we compile it, it will fail, and with the message that the set age cannot be overloaded. So from the caller's point, these two functions are the same. So these are the examples of const parameter. And now let's look at some example of const return value. And here we have a function get name, which returns a const string reference. And the reason we want to return a const string reference is the same reason why we want a const reference parameter. We want to re return by reference to improve the efficiency of the program, and we want to return a const reference so that the caller cannot change the value that、uh, the variable that I returned. And in the main function, I'll use a const string. Reference n equal to d dot get name, and then print it out. Dummy is printed out. So this is how you use a const reference return value. Now again, let's consider remove the reference, and it returns a const string, and now. The const is completely useless because the name is returned by value. So what the function returned is a copy of the name, 
which is a temporary. And it doesn't make any sense for a temporary to be defined as a const. Now let's consider an even more interesting case, const function. We have a function called print.name and after the function signature there's a const. What does this mean? This means this function will not change any of the member variables of this class. So in the main function we could call d dot print doc name and let's do print something different const and run it and it prints out dummy const however if this function changes the uh, member variables say age plus plus and this code doesn't compile and another thing that you should remember is even if this function doesn't change any of the member variables but it call another function get name which is not a const function and this still doesn't compile even though the get name function doesn't change the member variables at all so a const function can only call another const function in order to maintain the const correctness. Another thing to note is the constness can be used to overload the function. Say so if we make a copy of this function and remove the const. These two are different functions. And let's print out non-const. Now the question is when this function will be invoked and when this function will be invoked. The answer is this function will be invoked when the dog is a const and this function will be invoked when the dog is not a const. For example we have a dog d and this d should call the non-const version of the print dog name and say we have another const dog d2 and then call d2.print dog name and uh, this one cannot be get name we should change it to name and now let's run it so the first one is calling the non const function print dog name and the second one is calling the const function print dog name so this is how a const function can be overloaded with a non const function the last thing to note is a function that takes a const reference parameter can also be overloaded with a function that takes a reference parameter. The question is under what circumstance this function will be invoked and under what circumstance this function will be invoked. I'd like to leave it as a homework for you to figure out. If you cannot figure out, watch my another video called Understanding L Value and R Value. I'll publish the answer if there are too many people having trouble with it. In summary, when a const is used with a function, it can be used to specify const parameters, or const return value, or const function. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you'll be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye bye.